in the last video we covered how to create the fading effect on the page load using the once transition and in this video we will create the fade transition to the second page we will create one more transition inside of the transition object we will call this one fade transition we'll use a different class and we don't want this to happen on the page load we only want to use the leave and enter methods okay so this will happen when the page leaves these fate classes will be added to our container of the current page when it leaves and on the next page when it's entering when we are going from the first page to the second page and for that for us to be able to define the rule for this animation to be used we need to go to the index and we need to define a namespace okay so namespace data barba namespace is a name for our page and then in the rules we can say if we go from home to here do this transition otherwise do something else so the namespace is handy and if i go to the barba documentation we'll see that the dom structure we already have the wrapper and container and the one thing we didn't con we didn't include is the data bar by namespace on our containers okay so let's go back edit to our container on the index html that's a home and on the fate we will call it fate okay now we have the namespaces on our html pages and we can define the rule for this transition we can say two so when we go to an object and inside of it we can specify the rules so the two is a keyword that will barba will analyze this and if the if it's true if everything inside of this object is true then it will use this transition okay so we want to namespace to be and this is an array of namespaces because you can use this transition to go to multiple places we want to go to fate okay so this will be true if we're going from the home page to the fate page because we are going to fate namespace okay so hope that makes sense how we are setting the rule for this transition to be used and then we should see two sets of classes being applied to our element leave and enter okay so as you know from the first example without any css it will not it will everything will happen instantly we will not see any classes so let's do the css as well this time we will use the fate and dot scss which is currently empty and we can go to the home borrow these classes and paste them inside of the fate what we need to change is the name of course now it is fate and we don't want to do it once so this is the keyword that we need to change because we want to use the leaf leaf active and leaf two and of course we need to flip the values okay so flip uh, fate leaf is the first starting state which is opacity one and we want to fade it into opacity zero that is the fade leaf two and the transition it can stay the same we can play with it a little bit later so that is the leaving animation how the current container will be animated away and then we need a second set of classes for the entering container and we need to change this hook to be enter okay so when we entering we want it to fade in so we start at zero animate it to fade enter to opacity one and again the transition can stay the same for now okay we'll remove the delay we want this to happen instantly so it's only opacity one second linear and this should fade in and out our containers just making sure that in the app.scss we are including the fate 
which is correct, save the JavaScript. And let's go to the browser to see it in action. Okay, I'll go back to the home page, refresh the page, click on fade. We see it fading out and the new page fading in. Let's do it again, go back to the home page and click on the fade transition again. We see the white background, so the container, the blue container fades out. Then we see the white page background and then we see the purple container coming in. Okay, so that's not really nice on eyes and even if we remove the duration and make it only 0 0.3 we would still see the flash of the white in the background and it's not really what we want we want the colors to nicely fade in and out so we can tweak it slightly we want to first fade out this to completely blue and then the next page to fade in but fade in from the blue not from the white okay for that we will update the page background color when we are leaving we'll update the page background to be blue and then this page will fade on top of it okay so that will look much more smoother but now let's recap what we've done in this video okay firstly we did define a new transition we called it fade we set the rule to use this transition when we go to namespace fade, which we've added to the fade page. And at the same time, we've also added the barba namespace to the home page. We'll use that namespace later. And inside of the fade.scss, we've defined two set of classes that barba will add to our container. The first one defines how we animating the container away from the screen from opacity one to opacity zero, using the fade leaf, leaf active and leaf two. And the transition is here. And then we have another set classes of, for the enter transition, we're starting at opacity zero and ending at opacity one. Okay, so this makes the CSS transition to happen. And here it is on the slide, a little bit more visual. We firstly using the leaf hook, to add the fade leaf, fade leaf active classes to our element. Then we defining the transition 0 0.3 seconds without any ease on it. And then we are fading it out using the ending state fade leaf two. And here is the second phase of the enter transition or second phase of the transition, the enter transition. We're using the fade enter, fade enter active to fade the second page in. If you need to use any hooks, again, the enter and leave will not fire any JavaScript script. So make sure you using the before enter, after enter, or if you are on the first page, before leave or after leave. Okay, so the main hooks, similar to the ones, the leave and enter will not fire any JavaScript inside of that method so make sure you're using the before and after leaves